crew up there. We gotta start with the man that I haven't seen in the longest. That'd be Anthony Rumble Johnson back there. It's uh, it's been about two and a half years at this point since we've had a chance to see you compete. People still ask about you every day, man. So so give us the update. Are you starting to get the itch to come back? What's the, what's the feel right now? It's good to see you, man. How you been? Good, thank you. Um, I'm back because I want to be back. You know, um, some people want to say it's for money. Some people want to say whatever. You know, honestly, I'm back because I want to come back. And DC and Stipe actually actually got me motivated to come back. You know, so I give them the credit for it, actually making me want to fight again. When you say that they motivated you to come back, it was their their fight itself that made you want to come yeah, back? Yeah, their last fight was such a good fight. You know, it just made me just get that itch again just to want to go out there and, <laughs> and beat some people up. How much has training been a part of your process during this time away? I mean, did you step completely away? Did you stay in the gym? What was it? No, for two years I didn't do anything. I didn't want to have anything to do with mixed martial arts at all. I was honestly just burnt out. You know, just was done with it. So I think over the two years I was out, I maybe watched three fights, something like that. I, I don't know any of the new fighters or, or anything like that. So I'm the old man in the group now. <laughs> so what's the plan from here? I mean, uh, do you have a target date in mind? Or what's, what's, what, what do you do? Hopefully April. I'm trying to fight by April of next year, for sure. What's the uh, what's the dream matchup? I mean, are are we going right to the top of the division? Is it uh, is it John Jones, maybe? Everybody, I'm trying to make everybody a suspect, a victim of what I can do. And last thing for me, I mean, is this a, a short term thing? I mean, do you think you go back in there and say, you know what, I, I think this still sucks, or, or do you think like, hey, I'm I'm, I'm making pretty a run. sure I'm pretty sure this still suck at times, <laughs> but uh, I, I plan on sticking around for a little bit. And Rumble, this is a question for you. Um, I kind of was mentioning this to you before, but do you feel, do you feel the love that the fans have for you? Like, do you, can you tell how badly people want you back? Do you feel that? Yeah. Can y'all hear me? All right, sorry. Uh, yeah. For the last, since the day I retired, people have been contacting me and wanting me to come back to fight. And um, it really never died down. But once it was announced that I was coming back, it definitely, they, they showed me how much they appreciated the things that I've done in the sport and the entertainment and the excitement that I've brought to the sport. So they've been showing nothing but, but love. So I'm, they excite me, you know, the fans definitely keep me excited now. Well, and you were kind of a different breed of fighter. You, you were the guy that everybody was afraid of. It was like, a, oh, you know what, Rumble's fighting, I can't miss that. Do you feel that we have enough of those guys right now? Not in the heavyweight division. To me, it's like everybody is, no, there's nobody afraid of the next person, which is fine. But, I mean, when I was fighting at 205, there was always at least one person in every division that was just a bad, you know, bad motherfucker and just be like, yo, y'all need to watch out for him, you know? But they're not saying that really in the heavyweight division. You know, I think the scariest guy in the division for them really is, is Francis. The scariest, not the best, but the scariest. Have you uh, have you re-entered USADA testing not, pool yet? Not yet. When do you intend to do that? Uh, hell, I don't know. I ain't thought about it. I'm just training. That's what I've been doing. Okay. Um, you looked like you 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 did some weightlifting while you were away. What's the highest you got up to? What was what was your weight at? What at your heaviest? Uh, whenever I was really in the gym, I don't know, two sixty. Oh, that's it. Okay. Whenever I was like really in the gym lifting and stuff, but once I stopped, I got up to 276. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, you, mentioned, you mentioned Francis as being the, the, the kind of the scariest guy in the division. I don't think many people would disagree with that. And it seems like that'd be an easy, easy fight to market, easy fight to, to promote. You know, the, the scariest guy when, when you were in your prime versus the new scariest guy. You feel like you're probably on a collision course with him at some point? Um, yeah, I think him and I will meet eventually. But I know everybody's wanting, most people just want to fight. But to me, and hopefully to Francis, it, it, you know, it has to happen at the right time. Not just hap a fight happen just to get everybody else rocks off, you know what I mean? Excuse my language, you'll have you want me to say it. But um, no, if I fight Francis, I want it to be for something like serious, not just a fight, not just a main event fight. I want it to be for, at least let us fight for the title, you know? That way it really counts, not, not just, like I said, getting everybody else rocks off and just trying to beat each other up for no reason. Yeah. 
Oh, like a number one contender fight? Would that be enough, no. or it has to be? A, no, I wanted to be. A, I wanted to be a title, title fight. Like that. That fight is too hyped up and too big for it not to be a title fight. If one of us are holding a title, sure. You know, but if it's the but if it's the last, you know, no other choice, then I mean that's what I have to do. But I don't see it going down that way. But we know how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Um, last thing I wanted to ask you about real quickly is, uh, do you have any thoughts on on Izzy? I mean, you brought him in to be your John Jones in 2015. Did you think that he, uh, when you sparred with him, you know, three years ago, did you see this coming at all from him? Man, I, don't, I didn't. I mean, I knew he was good. Um, I didn't know much about him. I, like I said, I just knew he was good. And once he got in there, though, I was like, this kid is going to make some noise, you know, once I saw him in the, in the octagon doing his thing. But um, mad, mad props to him for winning the title, you know. He showed that anybody can do it if you put your mind to it. Come with your own style, you know, and stick to who you are. So I, I like what he does in the octagon and the man he is outside of the octagon. I mean, it, I'm gonna give him his credit, you know, when we sparred each other, he got he got the better end of me, but I'm gonna put that one out there, everybody. He had just had a fight, and I was only two weeks into a camp. <laughs> but he was piecing me up pretty good, but even whenever I'm usually out of shape, I don't get pieced up that, that much, at least. But he was, he, he definitely stuck it to me, and um, the kid is very special.